Hey YouTube, Colin Lodi, aka the Colin Lodi Show, aka the Pug Show, Conor of Cat Productions. We're going to talk about a little uh, something going on in the NFL right now. That's absolutely right. We're going to talk about Pletsko Burris finally being out of jail, and he's uncertain about his NFL career or what he's going to do with it. So he's been released after a 9 a.m. Monday after spending. Nearly two years behind bars on a gun charge, which is actually really still confusing to me on why they would uh, put him behind just for a gun charge for two years, while Michael Vick only got a year for the dogfighting scandal. But hey, that's just that's all behind us. We just got to move on from there. So uh, right now he's been looking about uh, his future in the NFL. He doesn't know where he's gonna go exactly. he has been Drew Rosenhaus and his agent. agent and him talk about it for like a couple I think a few hours now but I'm not quite sure but he, they've been talking about it every now and then he pleaded guilty gun charges in August 09 attempted criminal possession like weapons sentenced two years blah 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 and he was released about three months early yeah this says right here he was re blah, released about three months early for good behavior so I guess that's good on his part so uh Apparently, uh, he's been looking for a few teams now that the lockout's still going on in the NFL. The uh, Eagles quarterback, apparently Mike Vick, wanted, wants to actually have him on the Philadelphia Eagles, and he said a certain recent radio interview with, uh, I guess, uh, what's the radio station called, Philadelphia? WIP, I think. I'm not quite sure exactly, but i got to look it up. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but, hey, oh, well, who cares? But, uh, so, uh, I guess that's why... Uh, they said that a uh, burst would be a great fit for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, and they said in the, saw in a photo that uh, he was wearing a Philadelphia Phillies hat when he was free. So uh, so uh, just to put a put some light on the subject, he would probably be a, would he be a good fit in Philadelphia? In my opinion, I'm not quite sure about that. To be honest, if he would be a good fit in Philadelphia, because they've got too many young receivers with so much talent you got Deshaun Jackson Jason Avant you got Jeremy Macklin you got all these young receivers I mean it's gonna be really really hard I mean for a guy like Plexico Burst to fit in well with that team I'm not hating the Eagles or anything but you know that's just my opinion another team I actually want to actually been interested in Plexico Burst the St. Louis Rams though are actually been interested in looking at him as of lately so with uh situation we got Bradford obviously interested one in him same with Jackson as well and all basically the Rams they don't have any receivers though whatsoever I mean they do have Mark Clayton one of the fastest guys on the team but I mean I think with Plesco Burris being on the Rams I think he'd be a really good fit for the Rams that's just my uh, personal opinion I mean, you look at the wide receiver cores. The Rams have pretty good young receivers as well, but they need a veteran talent who can actually help them get through the clutch time in games, and I think Plexico Burst would fit well for the uh, St. Louis Rams. So, Just my opinion overall, but do you also, do you think you would go, he would even go back, consider going back to the New York Giants? How about the, uh, I've been reading about the uh, New York Jets are trying to get involved too for some reason. That's kind of a... Now they're first they're after Randy Moss. Now they're going after uh, Plexico Burrs. That's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, but overall, let me know uh, what you guys think about that. Comment, like, rate, subscribe to NCAT Productions. Subscribe to the people below in the description box for the owners of NCAT Productions. I'm Kyle Lodi telling you that NCAT Productions, where the sports are always first. Peace out, everybody.